What's in there? Like oh that. my god, see I told you they get everywhere, they even get in our water bottle. Yeah, you know what it is? There's a spider's web. On the tap. On the tap and there, I've gone like that. He must have fell you... in. <laughs> What's happening now? It's called me again. Don't believe it, like, it's another spider. Don't, no, because you're going to... Babe, it's the same, it ain't the same one, because I completely emptied the flipping bowl. I went like that, look, I completely emptied the bowl. I can empty it near our boot. The spider's just going to come back on. Right, let me look at the empty <laughs> bottle. <laughs> Oh no, this is what's happened, look. He's in the air he's bubble. He's at the top. You're, you're he's in the air bubble. Oh, he's gone there. No, he's not. He's still in there. Yeah. He ain't hung on to that. I saw him drop. I think now he's dropped. Mm, he's gone to get Yeah, down. yeah, he's there, look. Yeah. There he is. Oh, he's still all right there. He is climbing on our boat now. Oh. Brilliant. <laughs> so, the wife this morning She's been putting fly mesh in into the <laughs> into the mushrooms to stop all the spiders and all the rest of it. And then I hear this chuckling. I hear this chuckling. I'll turn around. And she thinks she's a bride again. Wrong with this? What they make bows out of, isn't it? If it helps, I'd like bride of Frankenstein. If it helps, I'd still say yes again. Oh. <laughs> yeah, clearly. <laughs> yeah, anyway, we've got three of these, so I think I've got enough to do. I ain't marrying you three more times. Well, the duck hatches, you've got mag oh, it comes with mag magnetic, magnetic. Um, strips, so I'll yeah. have a look at that later. Well, I started, yeah. Okay. Just doing a bit so of mask. Doing cutting in as well. Doing a bit of, in. Yeah, you're having trouble with this sort of masking tape. Yeah, it doesn't stick to the paint. Yeah, well, no, I don't, I don't understand yeah. it. Maybe, I know you can get different strengths of stickiness, can't you? So whether or not... Yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm gonna cut, then, I'm just gonna cut this colour, get the cut, yeah. this colour back out and then do it up. Oh, cool. Right, cool. I need to take Ernie out first. Ernie's probably right. walk. I need to empty the toilet. And the problem with the no. <laughs> toilet is... No. <laughs> the, no. Wife, the wife had one wee too many, didn't you, wife? <laughs> just before she got a... Uh, it, she, no, I haven't. Just before she got a veil on, she decided to have one extra wee. No. When no. I said it was full up, I said it was full up. You didn't. You so didn't. now, basically, if you can picture it, I've got about a mug full or so. I've got to empty before I can pull the cartridge out to go and bloody no. change it. So thanks for that, wife. What have you got, Ernie Benz? Keep, what are you at? He's keeping me company. Working on this part today. Let me yes. just go out so you can see it. But working on the stairs the um, where the electrical was done oh, yeah, in the last the vlog. So we sort of. So now go on. What are we actually it'll doing? It'll be Paul? like a hanging space for coats in the winter. That type of thing. Welly gogs or welly boots, whatever you want to call them. Welly, sorry. What did you just call them? Welly gogs. come from? Maybe somewhere in my an, an, what's it called? Ancestry or Ancestry? Ancestry, maybe. I don't know, really. Have you that? No, I haven't. They're Welly Boots. Oh. Wellingtons. Wellington Boots. Welly Gogs. Welly Gogs. I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, probably got it from one of my parents. Welly gogs are not. Oh, no, no, Wellingtons are not that. going down there. They're going down there in my F and F bar, F and M basket. Yeah, easy, yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. So I'll probably do a bit of shelving, uh, a bit of a hanging space. A bit confused how you're going to fit shelving amongst all that. Well, it's, mm. well, it's already shelved. Yeah, this, exactly. This that'll do. That'll do. It's got a nice bit of large under. Yeah, a little bit of storage underneath yeah. there. Look at it's that. Like There's loads of storage. Though, that, isn't actually, it? that could be like tall. That's what I meant. Yeah, but you've got to be careful because there are pipes. But oh, I I'll thought just you cut were going to put sort of yeah, tools and stuff and. Mm. Apparently that's what we're doing today, so yeah, we're creating, sorting out this we're area. We're trying to create the image of a false wall, where well, it will open, because what we've designed, what the wife what I've has designed, designed is paper trying here. to, he's licking my hand, he's <laughs> actually paper? licking my ear, 
Any, I'll carry on then. So this yeah, paper here on. on the wall, um, yes. it's got the down part. You can't see because we're like so at the moment. The same as the, and you've chipped the bloody paint. Um, it's the same as the cupboard paint. So the upright bit of wall is going to be covered in the wallpaper and it's going to be like a hidden door. That's the idea. Let's see what it looks like. You know, me and my ideas. <laughs> um, my ideas generally last about a week and then I say no that's not what I want and then we're going to sort out this roofing part where we've had the leaks and the leaks are now touch wood it's all dried out and done so we'll sort out this part while Paul's doing that um, I'm currently doing um, I'd actually only done three or four coats I think of this ceiling part so I've gone up to that bar now I'm going to do the rest of it taking the lights back down, redoing all the lights again, and then the final coat of our teal colour. So I'm just, it's going to look no different. Um, but to me, you know, it'd be finished properly, properly painted and properly done. So that's what I'm doing. What are you actually doing there then? This looks oh, pretty just, good. Just sorting out the, uh, this will be like the line of the wall, basically. So it's just like a framework. So the MDF, we're going to use 18 mil MDF. So it's basically going to be fixed against here, but this sort of from this height, this section will open and then close again to give the appearance of the wall. But obviously I need to infill this sort of side section, so I'm just putting a bit of framework up and down what we've already got here. tools you can get nowadays that's a dewalt multi tool there look how easy that made that as long as you got a sharp blade so, well 57 on Sunday which unfortunately means that I spent most of my career if you can call it a career um, without all these sort of things doing a lot of stuff by sort of hard manual methods this generation don't know they're born mate these new chippies and that coming through <laughs> honestly I mean I know I'm not one to like sort of rant on or anything but <clears throat> I'm full steam ahead full steam ahead Cutting all my timbers up and everything and fixing away and it's all going well and you know it's all nice and dry out there and then all of an hour ago you go fancy a bit of spag pole warmed up from leftovers from uh, the other night if you hadn't have said that I'd be out there cutting up the main door section and carrying on with what I was doing inside but no we had the spag pole I go out to cut up my bit of wood, which I would have been doing if you hadn't said it a bit, you know, if you said it a bit later. And now I'm sitting here because it's raining and I can't cut my bit of wood up and I'm feeling a bit sulky, to be honest with you. Bloody weather. <laughs> Honestly, when's it going to be proper summer? Dunno. I don't know. But if we book a holiday, we it rains. We and this Africa. is our version of a holiday. Yeah, when we went to Africa that time for a week. Yeah, rained, cloudy. We turned up. It was bright sunshine on the coach transfer from the airport. Yeah. We turned up, the clouds came over and it stayed cloudy and rainy until the morning we were going over a week later. Got on the coach with bright sunshine and God knows Just, what temperature. Got, and everything's outside there, so the restaurants and that, weren't they? Do you yeah, remember, that I'll try and dig it out and if I can, I'll it's show you the outside. picture. But there's a picture of me and Paul outside having dinner and Paul's eating dinner with a serviette over his head because it's raining. <laughs> I'll see if I can find that. Oh. Hopefully I'll be able to see that now. Mind you, every day's a bonus. Right, so I'm actually replacing this little section here that was short, uh, so and I've taken a piece off of somewhere else because I'm going to renew that as well because that's short. So 
and I'm using the offcut of that basically to snugly fit in there hopefully what's your mum up to now Ernie honestly hey what's going on now painting that makes a change Strong fumes, actually. Yeah, it just is. Just uh, going over the radiator, just doing it black. Just think it'll look a bit more classy, don't we? Oh, it is. Uh, yeah. Not shiny black, it'll dry the same matte black as the chimney. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've gone round the chimney with Oh, yeah, yeah. As well. Yeah, you've painted around the, painted around the uh, glass on the chimney. Yeah. Well. I was actually going to give that a bit of a sort of okay. tidy up before you did that to be fair. Oh, yeah. Covering all right, or is it two coats? I think it's going to be two because there's going to be mm. some white. Okay. Well, I don't want to put it on two. I prefer no, to you do two want, than Yeah, drips. do two, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, just having a quick quick look around here. We'll see. Part of the process of building this as a proper cupboard will be obviously having a nice little clear up. Uh, a little bit of repositioning of certain bits and pieces. And, some wiring that needs some clipping, uh, that type of thing. I knew this hole was here before, um, but we did have a leak above, which was from where the old boiler used to be. So we've had this overflow on one occasion, as you've seen in previous blogs. Um, so there has been some water on this side, and also uh, the, leaky ha uh, the leaky sliding back hatch um that's leaked in the past as well <laughs> and the leaky slidey back hatch. <laughs> yeah the leaky slidey back hatch <laughs> right so yeah so that's that's <laughs> shut up taking the mickey so that's leaked in the past so that's all sort of happened in this 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 sort of section if you see what i mean in between the steel work and i'll just have another look at this and that is the bottom of the hole and that is as dry as a bone and you can still see where I've rubbed away some sort of fresh steel there I can't believe how dry this boat is to be honest we've been so lucky the only place we haven't really checked out is the lounge floor and we've had the duck hatch leak in there um, but going on what we've seen so far got to be well pleased with this anyway so it's also nice at last to have some labelling actually on our wiring before we haven't had this and it's been like a bit of a nightmare as to what goes where. Domestic, main charge, solar, inverter and Mary Mungo and Midge. On the top of here we've got a socket with shoreline and the socket for the inverter. So all we actually do is we just transfer the plug over to which one we want to use because they're wired directly into the underside of the plug sockets. We got a new galvanic isolator which apparently the idea of that is when you're in a marina for example and there's some electric current traveling around in the canal water, marina water or whatever it will apparently attack the weakest steel hull uh, and I've been told that this kind of protects you from that to a degree we still have this sort of jumble here of wires but I'm not too sure how that can be tidied up because it's kind of a bit of a sort of necessary spaghetti junction type appearance to it so mm, I might just put some sort of panel over that really just to stop us catching it with anything in the future. Paul's just undone the vent for me there so I can clean it. Have a look. <laughs> I think it's the first time it's been undone in 25 years. Look at this. Don't even touch that while I'm videoing underneath <coughs> it. Look at that. That is in the vent. Are you sure? I wonder if it smells when we first come in here. Well, maybe it's that, maybe it's something yeah. else. Anyway, carrying on. Yeah. The woodwork side Done. of things today is a bit of a sort of odd job woodwork day and just formed that in there. I've done this one up here. That. Already done that and this is painted. Painted. 
would never know as a new bit there, would you? Yeah. So I'm going to go and clean oh, yeah. this vent out now, best I can. You're not. You're going to ask me to do it. No, oh, yeah. no, because I can see that's all dead. It's not moving, oh, so right. I don't mind dead stuff. I okay. can do it. All right. All right, so I've put, given it a good old clean up. There you go. Put gaffer tape round by where the um, polystyrene was a lot cleaner actually see up through it now and then the vent um, I've put netting attached netting you buy it and it gets these little clear sticker things that you put on and it keeps the net on almost like a velcro so I've just painted the ceiling but that will go up there like that and look a hell of a lot better fill it back out I couldn't clear the paint all off we'll probably get new ones because they're weird but netting's up it's clean you can actually see the top look at that that is where um paul's just tightened the ceiling up because it was sort of like bowing so he's just put it on a the joist was running through he's just screwed up so we'll fill that but that is probably one of the jobs that i'm most pleased with out of the whole of this boat that because i i had to sort of like break through my barrier of spiders although they were all dead that were in there but it was just mank and uh, I'm really impressed with that so job well done from me pat on the back I'm feeling very smug and happy there we've got the door ones to do as well actually I want to put um, all the netting around the door ones so that's another job look at my little flowers I bought I don't think I showed you these all these the other week and that that's um solar panel solar panel Ernie Ernie meets Ernie. What do you think, Ernst? That ain't me. It is, it's you. Cecil's fault. No, Cecil's a snail. <laughs> Cecil and Sharon. No, yeah. Sally and Sharon. Got to read the weed off the side of the boat, No, do you want to come and do ours? Probably have they done out. One black painted radiator let's spit that out and um, i painted um excuse the mess in here you haven't seen this actually since paul ripped it all out painted the ceiling yesterday because we still don't know what design we're doing but i've painted the radiator in here that's about as far look at the mess though all that grum Oof. um yeah so that one definitely looks better there Right, that's the actual shape formed there. So oh, lovely. Just took the doors off, top and bottom there, so they're not in the way while the wallpaper goes on. So oh, yeah, basically that's where we are. Going oh. alright in it. Look at that, first bit of wallpaper's up. Just hope it all dries alright. <laughs> on MDF so it's a bit yeah the MDF, the MDF is so thirsty yeah we should have practiced like me I'm, not, you know. I'm making a tea now maybe we That's should have uh, gone on much better yeah that good. is now sort of good. taken to good. the lovely good stuff it's just probably a little, little, yeah, little yeah, yeah you've got a bubble there now yeah, right. All right, I'll okay. get that in a minute Good little Ernie out there. So that's that area. So this here is going to be tiled with um, these beauties. Those the steps will be tiled. Look at that sky. Glorious Sunday morning. We waited all weekend for this. 
Job it is. We go home later on this afternoon. <laughs> Typical. Anyway, the wife's at it again with the uh, fly trap mesh. Have a little look what it's gonna look like. Nice. Oh, look at them! Nice, aren't they? I've got to go to Scoobridge and get like a proper tail grinder wheel for these because they're big. Oh, not that one we use for the kitchen tiles? No, because it's that's a multi purpose one and it's getting a bit blunt now anyway. Um, and also it means that I'll be grinding for longer and it makes more noise. So with a proper tile one, I'll be grinding for less time. Okay. So it's more considerate to people. So we'll bring them round. Uh, obviously in this area as well. So down there, down there, not nice. And then we are at the moment thinking we might put them on the floor all on right the kitchen. Through. Through. We're just a little bit worried about weight, aren't we? Yeah, but I don't think the weight will be that long that you do them in a couple of weeks. <laughs> Not that weight, it's the, the W E I G H T. That weight. Yeah. Didn't get the chance to paint all the woodwork that you did in the end, did I? No. Didn't rub that, we've got rub down, rub down parts of it. Yeah. Oak on the yeah, oak. oak on the risers and then across the top part, so like almost like a beading, and then along underneath yeah, like there. A, yeah, yeah. Um, and they'll pull out so we can still store things yeah. underneath. Yeah. Um, you won't see that for a while though. Oh yeah. Because we're um, the next video release will probably will probably be a quick, so you won't see that. Which point is mixing. A staircase a stair design with quick boat show so you'll probably see that in the next couple of weeks sorry guys we're gonna have to wait a little bit patience is a virtue so that's us done for this weekend yes run out yeah we're all good to go bathroom is um obviously after we finish the steps after quick the bathroom will be the the next port call so we have sort of got some plans actually in place now for yep. that yep. so yep. yeah you will have to wait to see though <laughs> anyway thanks for your support thanks for watching and we'll catch you another time thank you very much ernie you got anything to say same as dad okay well bye everyone <laughs>